Congratulations, six times Australian Open champion, 19 Grand Slam titles. I know you're freezing, yes. freezing up here, but, but how's it, how are you feeling right now? I feel really good. I'm really excited to, uh, to have won again. I, I just, I was enjoying number 18, and now all of a sudden I have 19, so... I have to say, I did not expect to win this title coming into this. Yeah, I mean, you, you haven't. We know they haven't been feeling well. I mean, yeah. how did you get through that match and the, and the last couple of days? It's I don't know. Surprising. It, just, it really was. I mean, especially yesterday, I really hit rock bottom. I was like, oh man, what's going on? And then, you know, I just kept fighting. You know, and I thought I have nothing to lose. Really, I think that really helped me out because I felt like. What, even if I lose, I still have 18 Grand Slam titles to go home and cry to. So I yeah. kind of felt good about that. I got to ask you about the match point because suddenly yeah. you're standing there and, and you're about to win, I maybe. Know. And you hit an ace yeah. first and it's a let court. Yeah. But yeah. then you do the same thing again. Would you ever consider slicing it down the <laughs> middle, maybe? Uh, no, I was like, I don't know if I should go out wide. At that point, I wasn't clear in my mind. I just knew ace. Yeah. I wasn't sure if it was going to go T or Y, but I just knew Ace. And then I wasn't, I thought someone called it out, so I wasn't sure it was over. And so it was a kind of delayed reaction, but I was so excited. I was like, well, is it over? I asked umpire, is it over? Yeah. And he's like, yeah. yes. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and then the, uh, this reaction is classic, too. Yeah, and no, I was, I, I was overjoyed. I mean, I've been through so much these past two weeks. So, you know, in the past couple of months, you know, I just didn't think it would happen this fast, you yeah. know, and so I didn't even think I could, you know, I never think about numbers and it's just all happening and all the hard work is coming together, so I'm really excited. Yeah, I have to ask you about the, the, the break when it started raining, because yes. we know you left the court and, yes. and you obviously weren't feeling well going into the match no. in the last couple of days, so how did you sort of come back from that? Well, to be honest, I think the best thing that could happen to me ended up throwing up when I left the court briefly. Wow. And it just, I think it got everything out of me because I was just... I just had to hurl, and just after that, I felt I felt better because my chest was free. It took a little, it took a minute, but I felt a little better. But it wasn't, you know, gosh, this will go down in one of my memories. Yeah, I can imagine that. <laughs> I want to ask you because we know that uh, Rafael Nadal suddenly lost to Thomas Birdie. He's beaten him 17 times in a row. You've beaten Maria so many times. How are you able to play the match for what it's worth and not? get involved in what's happened in the past or in yeah. the future because you're so good at staying in yeah. the present. I have to stay in the present, especially playing someone like Maria who's really well and who never gives up and who tries and she reminds me of, I think we're a lot alike. We both like, fight so hard. We both never give up and I think it, it's great to have those qualities and so when you're playing someone like that, you can't go in thinking, oh, I'm going to win, I'm going to win. No, you have to think this is going to be a tough match. It's going to be a good battle. Yeah. Uh, We'll have to ask you, because obviously now you are thinking about 22, or are, are, are you not? Because we Gosh. know we all are, and I hate to ask you I'm that. I'm still stuck on 18. I, <laughs> I can't believe I'm at 19 now, you yeah, know? Yeah. So it was a little emotional for me, and um, I, I, yeah, I, 22 is so far away. There's so many great players coming up. That's why I'm just so excited to be able to get to this one. Yeah, i got to ask you about that. Young players are coming up. Madison yeah. Keys is so exciting to watch. Yeah. Junior, Junior Boucher. Does that make you sort of push yourself a little bit harder? And no, it makes me enjoy the, the moments. The big sister? It, it makes me enjoy. I know Venus is coming back, too. It makes me enjoy the moments a little bit more, you know. It makes me really feel like, wow, this is such a great moment, and I, I, it might not ever happen again, you know. Yeah. So I just really, yeah, that's why I'm always so elated when I win and so excited. I'm going to let you go and put something, and put yes, something on so and cold. take a shower. But, but yeah. what happens now, the next couple of days? Are you oh just keen to get back on the court and hit tennis balls? or? Well, or? after tonight, I just want to just get some rest and curl up and under some blankets and then just go to sleep. I don't know how I'm going to sleep, though, so I don't think I will. But um, we'll see. I just... Uh, uh, congratulations. Ah, congratulations. So well done. <laughs> Katrina, thank, thank you very you. much for coming up. Thanks thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you.